Good morning, I'm Carl. Welcome to Coffee with the Garden Club. Today we are going to talk about another kind of food that you can plant in your garden without having to buy seeds at the, um, at the seed companies or plants at nurseries. <clears throat> now the thing is, not everything works that way. There are certain things that you will buy in the grocery store and you will have terrible luck with. So this week I'm talking about a few things that, uh, that you will have good luck with if you buy them in the grocery store and plant them correctly. Today our topic is garlic, um, and it's garlic of the soft neck variety. Probably you will not be able to find hard neck garlic in the supermarket. If you can, that's great. In general, the, uh, the garlic you'll find, organic garlic, you want, to, uh, you want to look at organic. The organic garlic that you will find in the supermarket is of the soft neck variety. This just means that it's, uh, it's a little bit of a different configuration of the garlic clove uh, than hard neck variety. Hard neck shoots up a, a tall scape, which then kind of curls around and, uh, and will form um, into, if you let it go, it will flower. However, usually what you do is you pull those out or clip them so that the garlic bulb itself uh, has more energy to, um, uh, to grow larger over the course of the season. That's hard neck variety. Soft neck variety sends up leaves but does not send up that hard scape. And so uh, the bulb is, uh, well, it's just a little bit different. There's not this hard um, core in the middle of the garlic bulb with the soft neck variety. We're all familiar with it. We've all bought it in the supermarket. Um, but if you ever have a chance to compare the two bulbs, it is interesting to, to look at. So we don't need to talk too much more about that. What I want to cover is you know, how you can plant this soft neck variety this spring. Now, if you're in New England, you will want to uh, wait until the ground is soft enough to, uh, to work. If you're in the, in the northern part of the United States um, and areas where the, the ground gets very cold. Soft neck varieties of garlic are not as cold hardy as hard neck varieties. That said, Personally, I'm in Rhode Island, uh, USDA zone, <laughs> USDA zone 6B, and uh, I've had good luck planting um, soft neck varieties even in the fall. I tend to have a mix, um, several, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just take all of my garlic and plant it together, whatever variety it is, and it'll be luck of the draw um, when I pull it out uh, in the fall. But you can plant exclusively soft neck garlic. The thing is, it's not as cold hardy as hard neck garlic. So you may want to wait until you can, well, work the soil. It would be very difficult to plant if the soil was uh, still frozen. Um, so that's important. But you could probably put it in as soon as you want after, you know, after it starts to thaw. It would be handy to have a trowel or uh, sometimes I'll just use a stick that's uh, several inches long and mark out two inches on that stick. Now what we're doing here is we're poking the stick or your trowel into the soil um, down about two inches, and that's about as deep as you want to plant your garlic. You can go just a tiny bit deeper in, in uh, colder regions, but that's generally sufficient. Um, and you're going to plant these bulbs. I, I tend to plant them with about a three inch radius around each bulb, but some people say plant them in, you know, in rows four inches apart and then two inches between each bulb, you know, whatever. It's, it's probably gonna work out all right and nobody's quite that precise, at least I know I'm not, and it still seems to work. So uh, you, need, you need good soil, you need good fertilized soil for garlic, it's a heavy feeder. So I do tend to add some, um, in my case, uh, worm castings and also uh, compost that either I make here or that I get free or fairly inexpensively from our local landfill. Um, and sometimes I will work that into the soil before planting the garlic. Um, sometimes if I'm planting the garlic in the fall, I might, uh, 
just to you know, plant the garlic and put some compost, another layer of compost over top of it and consider that part of my two inches that I am, um, that I am planting for garlic depth. So, um, you want to, when you're, when you're planting the garlic cloves, you want to break apart the, um, the head of garlic. And then you want to leave each clove as intact as possible. You want to make sure that you leave the, uh, the papery skin on um, and that you damage it as, as little as possible. You don't want to crush it at all. You don't want to bruise it. Um, so break it apart carefully. And then um, you can tell that you're planting it upright if the, the pointed end is up and sort of a little oval or round, um, looks like a little plate on the bottom of it, and that's where the roots will come out. And you can look at a, a garlic clove, a garlic a head before you crack it open. You can kind of see that that's the orientation. The, um, the clove is like a miniature head of garlic, and each clove will turn into its own head of garlic under the ground during the course of the summer. I usually plant about 100 cloves in a four foot by six or eight foot um, space uh, raised bed that I can control the um, the water watering there. Do you need to make sure that it's adequate, adequately watered during the season? Um, and I like to add some mulch on top of the soil and I keep mulch there most of the season. The one exception is that in the spring you have to keep an eye on it. You don't want your uh, the, 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 the tender leaves that are coming up from your garlic, you don't want them to get um, stuck in the mulch. And so sometimes what I will do is when I start to see these, I, I'll check during, you know, the first uh, warm, warm days, actually late winter even, um, and keep checking to see if I have any of these leaves poking up. And if I do, I'll make sure that these leaves are able to get through my mulch. That might mean removing a little bit of mulch. It might mean pulling off, depending on the kind of mulch, pulling off more and then putting it back down around the emerging uh, garlic um, leaves. Otherwise, they get all tangled up as they're trying to go through. I use something called salt marsh hay as a mulch on this kind of bed. They can usually work their way through, you know, an inch, but you can make it much thicker than that, which I often do. Um, and, uh, and they start to get tangled up on their way through, and that's not great. So, in the summer, you will not have to worry about garlic scapes with your soft neck garlic, because as I said before, they don't push up scapes. Um, I actually like getting the scapes from my hard neck garlic. It's kind of nice, because then you can use those in cooking, and it's a little bit of a, an early garlic season uh, benefit, but um, you won't get that with soft neck garlic. Uh, you will want to, as the, uh, the fall progresses and the leaves start to die back, it's a good time to uh, start harvesting your garlic. You want to make sure you harvest them before the leaves are gone and you don't know where your garlic cloves are. Um, and when you do harvest your garlic, it's uh, you want to make sure that you're very careful um, removing it from the soil so that you do not break through the outer shell of, um, of skins around the garlic clove. The more skins that that has, the better off the garlic will be in terms of storage. Now, one of the bonuses of soft neck garlic is that it will generally store longer than your hard neck varieties. So you want to store, I, I, what I do for my storage is I save bags from lemons and limes, those mesh bags that you get. And, um, and so it's a very open mesh and I will store my garlic cloves in a sleeve like that and I'll just hang them up in a cool dry place um, for the fall and the winter. And generally they, they will keep into January and sometimes a little bit later. So I always find I always find that harvesting is really exciting because you've multiplied your, um, your garlic and then you can choose the best garlic cloves to save for, um, for next year. And you may find yourself doing that with this soft neck variety depending on how much you like it. Or you might decide 
this fall to invest in some hard neck varieties, either to mix it up with, uh, with the soft neck variety that you've started to collect or to um, you know, change over and try hard necks instead. So that is our presentation on um, garlic and planting garlic from the supermarket. I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow on uh, the next edition of Coffee with the Garden Club. Till then.